purpose if I press the right button. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Acres Lawn Care here, hope you're all doing well. So, the sun is shining today, which is lovely. Oh no, the road ahead's closed, so it's now diverting me through a McDonald's drive through Hiya, good morning. Can I please have a double sausage and egg muffin meal? And then? Uh, could I please have a orange juice? And can I get an extra hash brown? Yeah. And can I also have a bottle of water, please, as well? Water, yeah? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know what your McDonald's... I mean, obviously, keep this quiet because Eddie Abu, I don't know if you know who he is, but he's, like, wouldn't allow this. But um, if you haven't checked him out, check him out on Instagram. He's funny, but... Morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah. Right, brekkie done. Now to do some work. So, let's get this gate open. Right, so you know this garden already if you watch my channel regularly. Um, this is one of my pride and joys really. I've been coming here for about, since I started. 12, 13 years ago. So let me show you what we're doing today. Bushy better bush. Okay, quick tour of the garden. Bushy bashly bosh. Those choices looking stunning, along with the fatinias. And look, you can see the fatinia flowers here. Fatinia red robins. Look at them. Oh, they're coming out. They're going to look stunning. It's just going to look like a ball of white. This bed here is all okay. We've been working on this. Um, re-barking we just sort of put a few more roses and stuff in the extra chord of bride here is finishing up which is was absolutely stunning you can see beautiful little white flowers you get there got the bark there some down there as well and then some liner somewhere so the area we're going to be doing is this area here you can see it appears really quickly so there's areas in here we just want to try and get as much out as possible. I'm gonna get, dig all this out as well, because this is a nightmare. Uh, yeah, let's get cracking, guys. Oh. Makes all the difference having the right thick room. Uh, so let's see what we can do. You guys out the way. What I'm trying to do here, just trying to try. So you can see, comes up, trails along, breaks away. It's going to be a little bit more difficult this one because it is. You can see there how long the roots are, but there are only surface roots, so we can try our best to get them out. And there's some other stuff in here called Celandine as well, which is, has a yellow flower and it's a bit of a nightmare, but comes and goes throughout the year. Well, it comes in spring and then it's gone and back again the following year. But it's a bit of a nightmare because it just doesn't look great. It has a nice yellow, yellow flower, but it's not the nicest really. It's just another example of the trailingness of it. normally what you find is if you've got like a metal edge like here or you've got a sleeper bed what you find is that ground out normally 
just goes to an edge and then just follows and trails along it. So what I'm gonna find here is just a mat off like a trail going this way. So you're probably thinking, why are we still got ground out here anyway if I come here maintenance and regularly? So we come here, we do the maintenance work, but this is was dug out in sort of September time, I think, uh, and it has multiplied and come back again. So it is just a case of keeping up on top of it. Um, try and get it. We always do try and customers really good with it, with the, um, with the weed killer, but it's not always possible because if it's also gone from through to next door, it will come back through next door as well because the fences are low as well. Got some geranium. This is a border, border geranium here. Just scrub it out some areas it will start to flower soon so I'm just clearing a little bit of it out of the way So another difficult place for ground elder to get it is when it grows within the mature shrubs. That's the issue when they grow into where the root ball of trees and say for instance this rhododendron here. You can get it, go around the outside of the root and try and get as much of it out as possible but it will just go through the roots and we don't want to disturb too much of the roots on the um, plants obviously because that's it's not good for their plant health as well. So, but you can see digging out, you can see the kind of stuff that I'm getting out. You see this, how matted it is, all that root there. So that's just, but luckily the soil is pretty good as well. So if you've got like a clay soil, then I feel sorry for you because <laughs> it is a hard working job when it's sort of clay. But with it's loose top soil, it's not so much of an issue. But let me know what you're struggling with your gardens at the minute, guys. Um, if you've got ground out, if you've got cell and dine, like I said, cell and dine is a bit of a pain. Um, uh, this is cell and dye. let me show you over here. So it's really fast growing. <clears throat> and um, I'm just showing these, that wasn't cell and dye, that was something else. Let me see if I can find some more. I've been digging it out, so. Uh, get some more ground out of there. Uh, well, I don't know where to sell it. I think I've dug most of it out, to be fair. Okay, onto the grind. Right, so onto the next job I just want to clear the front bit so we can move into the bed this is a green out al basically green out in it basically it's like a um, it's, it's got a nice little blue flower but it's a it's a weed in my opinion it's got a long tap root which is an absolute nightmare to get rid of uh, just keeps going deep 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 so normally I just dig it out as much as I can and then yeah, throughout the season, as we're back into the season now, we're able to actually get in and just keep on top of it. Whereas it's been really wet in the UK, we've struggled to get into gardens because it's been that wet. So things have gone a bit crazy, but green alpinet, long tap root, it is a weed. So even though it's got a pretty flower, I say it's a weed, so let me correct you with a weed, because I know people will say, ah, a weed is this, a weed is that. A weed is something that you don't want in your garden. Nothing is a weed. You might find this absolutely stunning and beautiful thing and go, it's not a weed. But that is what 
a weed is, it's something that you don't want in your garden and it's a bit of a pest kind of thing, so you want to get rid of it. Right, so green alkanet, find nice deep, deep, deep. I'm going to go as deep as we can with a fork and just try and tee it out. I guarantee you that I won't get the root with this. Ah, not too bad. That weren't too bad, but as you can see, look. So I got this root out. Big old root. But you can imagine if that was in clay soil. And it also lost, you know, there's probably a few bits in there that are still going to come back. So, but I mean, that is, that is a big root. Green alkanet, big root. This is a beastie, this one. Oh. I'm trying to get just loose and teeth those roots deep. Really got to dig deep for these, and I know it's a bit of a nightmare in certain countries because I know you've got all different type of clay, and uh, horrible soils. But even this is a struggle. I can feel it; it's loose, but I really want to get that. Connect route, there you go. Look at the size of that. Oh. But those of you who have watched me from the start, you know that I've always been a digger, <laughs> always love digging, digging out stuff because if you don't dig it out, you know, sometimes it comes back, obviously. But if you dig it out, if you go out it with a strimmer and then put some liner over it especially ground out enough, it is going to come back next week and it will find its way along underneath that liner and it will pop up and that's going to happen with this but it's going to slow the process of it down.
Keep that. We plant that somewhere else. Ugh. All these mats there. Matted, matted, matted. Ugh. Just got a ball of spag ball. So if we take a stand and have a look, take a, what am I saying? If we take a step back and have a look. So this area here, I'm gonna line, get this all lined. Then I'm not sure about this area because I don't know what the plan is with this area yet. So I'm gonna line up to sort of here and then we'll work out what, cause some plants might be moved and stuff, but I'll wait until the line is down um, and then maybe wait till uh, autumn time, I'm not sure. So we'll carry on just like weeding in there at some point. But get this whole area here and then we'll work out what's gonna go along the front. Probably it's gonna be some more roadies or some azaleas um, because it's quite shaded here. So we need something which is gonna sort of um, benefit from the shade there. But let's get this liner down and see how we get on, shall we? So I've had a really good dig out in there. I tried to sort of get everything out as best as I could. Um, obviously bits growing up in between the trees. There's still another liner there. I'm gonna line over the top of that liner because, um, I don't know, extra liner, I guess. But um, yeah, 
Let's crack on. No, spare a bit of line knocking about here. Tuck the line up down the back of the uh, edge to sew it. Come in, let's go and get some more liner. <laughs> I did, to be honest, I thought I had enough. Uh, I didn't plan on going so close to the choice years there, but it happens. It's quite flexible. Um, didn't buy that line, it was here already. And to be honest, I think I thought there'd be enough, but there's obviously not. So luckily the garden centre is just a couple of, uh, sort of a couple of blocks away, streets away. So we'll quickly pop there and grab some.
was 26.99 for a 15 meter by one meter roll of landscape fabric and some uh, plastic pegs just to pin them into the ground just to hold them in place it's cheeky really because go back about two years i haven't actually bought landscape fabric in a while to be fair it used to be 20 meters by one meter the cheeky little guys everything now it's all getting cheaper it's all getting you know you're getting less you're paying more that's just the way the cookie crumbles i guess Right, I'm just going to pin some of these uh, pegs in, just to the, the ones I've done, and then we'll add some more liner. So this is a this liner allows you know the water to get through, so we don't have to worry too much about that. We'll always be able to get, always be able to have a drink, as you should say. They are heavy. That I've just been, I haven't been doing much gardening recently. So I've lost all my strength. <sighs> Look at that beauty. Like a pure wood chips. like real solid bits of bark so I've got to break them up break them up with the hands
grunting noises. These have easily got away like 35, 40 kilograms. 20 kilogram bags seem like nothing compared to that. Stop moaning, Alex. Get out of here. This is where I'm, I miss Gaz. <laughs> At least there was two of us lugging all this. Before you do some damage, <sighs> right, one more, one more bag. We calculated well for the bags, just not the. Uh, not the liner. Right. One more. Bang. Come on guys, out you come. Right, we are barked up. Let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, so barked up in there, lined up in there. We're gonna keep an eye on the old back shoots that come up with the, uh, the old weed spray, spray weed, weed killer. And then this area here, we, we, we'll think this, um, some people might think, oh, well, the liner doesn't go all the way across. You're going to have a liner weed. Well, no, you won't. I'll just move the bark over, add some more liner when we're ready to do whatever we need to do here. But we'll see how we get on. Whew. There you go, guys. Final shot. Lovely bit of squirrel. I might even mow the lawn now. Oh, right. Hello, guys. Got a bit of a sweat on there. But thank you for watching. Appreciate it. The sun is out. Do you know what? It feels just lovely to have the heat on your face. Um, you know, April is the time to get a bit of rain, bit of sun, bit of rain, bit of sun. So hopefully summer will be just around the corner. I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you very much. And yeah, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this content, consider liking and subscribing. That'd be brilliant. I'm going to go and rest my back now. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.